Hi there, in this video we are going to talk about the four administrative roles we have for Microsoft Teams. Here I am in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I have the list of users in my tenant. If I click one of these users and I click on the username, I get this details panel where I can modify any data about this user. And specifically, I can modify the user roles. If I click on Manage Roles, I can see that this user is not an admin yet, but if I remove this check, I'm going to have the possibility to uh, grant admin roles to this user. And I'm specifically interested in uh, taking a look to the Teams admin role. As you can see here, I have a Teams service administrator, but I have more. I have indeed Teams communication administrator, Teams communication support engineer, and Teams communication support specialist. Therefore, I have four admin roles for Microsoft Teams. So one way to use uh, to assign an admin a Teams admin role to a user is by means of the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. But I have another way that is through the Azure ID uh, admin portal. So in this tab, I have me my uh, Azure ID portal, and I can click on users. This is in Spanish, but it's, it's the same. So I can click on a specific user, in this case, Alex Gonzalez. Here we go. And then uh, for this user, I have the possibility to uh, click on uh, role. Yeah. And if I click on add a new role, I'm going to be presented with the different roles I have here for this user. And in this case, I have a game. Uh, uh, Microsoft Teams communication admins that that one uh, I also have Microsoft Teams uh, service admin and finally I have yeah uh, the communication support engineer and the and the other role we, we, we also saw there so we have these two the Teams communication support engineer and the Teams communication support specialist and that's all. Uh, I hope you have found this video interesting. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.